our absolute favorite scrambled egg casserole, perfect for brunch here at Barbecue My Way. Let's get rolling. All right, recipe below the camera, but here's what you're gonna need. Obviously, eggs. You're gonna need shredded sharp cheese, finely shredded's best. Black pepper, salt, butter, thyme. Mushrooms, half and half. Right, first thing we're gonna do is chop up into kind of strips some mushrooms. We love mushrooms. Adds a little bit of a kind of a earthy, meaty flavor. Got a nice pan, and we're going to put in about two, well, tablespoon and a half of butter, and we're going to melt it down. Now we're going to add the mushrooms that we've cut up. This is probably maybe uh, three quarters of a cup of chopped mushrooms. And we're going to saute these up until they're nice and golden brown. All right, it's been about four minutes on medium to medium high. We've got a nice golden brown to them. And I hit them with just a little bit of salt at this point. It kind of layers flavors. But also, my wife is notorious for picking a mushroom as she comes by. And if she does it, I want them to taste good. We're going to start cracking the eggs. And what I tend to do is I do half yolk and half yolkless. And I'm trying to reduce the fat a little bit. The reason I do that is I do add some cream, which is probably bad fat when I'm taking out good fat, but I don't know, I've just gotten used to doing it this way. Okay, we've ended up with basically seven eggs and five yolks. So a little bit lower in fat, and you won't really notice a huge change in the flavor. All right, to that, I kind of I, I kind of eyeball this stuff, but to that we're going to add roughly half to two-thirds of a cup of half and half. And this is something that I think adds a lot of nice flavor is dried thyme. We use fresh in the summer. Um, just adds a little nice gardeny flavor to the eggs. And you just whisk everything up. All right, now I have the scrambled eggs and cream mixture directly to the mushrooms. And what I tend to do here is just stay with them. I like to, I don't let them set for too long. I'm always kind of scraping the bottom and bringing the uncooked portion to the heated surface, which keeps them from getting tough. You don't want any of the eggs sitting too long on the direct heat because they kind of toughen up a little bit. That's my opinion. And I've been told I make pretty daggone good scrambled eggs. So until somebody tells me they stink, I guess I'll keep doing it this way. All right, we're done now. There's still a little bit of uh, liquidity to them, just a little bit on the tops. But what I'm going to do now is turn the heat off and spread them out. And now we layer them with a the finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Now, what I would suggest is if you're buying cheese specifically for your eggs, get the finely shredded. Because sometimes the more coarsely shredded just don't really melt as well as the finely shredded. And then, while the heat's off, put the lid on. And in roughly five minutes, you'll have cheesy egg casserole. All right, it's been about four minutes. As you can see, the cheese is incorporated. Full disclosure, I forgot to hit it with a little salt and pepper. I usually do that before the cheese, but I'm doing it now. Not too much. You can always salt a little bit more at the table. I just love the flavor of pepper on eggs. And then, one thing that Liz and I like to do, and I'll show you how we typically serve it, is... Just scoop some up onto our plate. I like to hit it with a little bit of light sour cream. And last but not least, a little Frank's hot sauce. You can also use salsa. 